I'll be filming a video for the Sigma 1-300mm to millimeter f4 lens. It's an old used lens and I do get nice photos from it. But the autofocus, at least in the past so far, hasn't been great. I'm not sure if it's my technique or just the old lens with bad electronics. You know, it's not so great on these uh, Nikon cameras. But I'm going to film a video. I'm trying to think of what to bring for filming. Decided not to bring the Fujifilm, which is what I'm filming on this right now. It's a little narrow uh, field of view than I want because it just makes it more challenging in that situation. But decided to bring the... D600 and the 750. I'll be trying to fill most of it on the 600. The issue, of course, is getting focus. So I'm going to use the 20mm f1.8 to make it as easy as possible. It has no Wi-Fi capability, so I have to pre-focus or do, you know, let it... I'm not going to let it do autofocus. It'll just probably make things a lot worse. But we'll see if this works out. I'm going to use it or try to use it in the selfie situations with this tripod. And I added this little carabiner with a strap just in case because I don't trust this tripod too much as a plastic mount. But just a little layer of protection uh, in case it comes undone with this quick release. So I'm going to bring the 750 of course with the Sigma lens and I'll put the action camera on top of it for some uh, first person perspective clips. But I'll also use the action camera either stationary or using it as a selfie thing if I figure out this doesn't work too well in that situation. I can only do so much at the camera shop. I like how the videos turned out, but I want to get out more and take photos and, and all of that. So we'll see how it turns out. I uh, just wanted to make this video to talk about what I've decided to bring and a few other things. I'm going to bring a variable neutral density filter for this lens. We'll see if I need it because this only does 30 frames a second which means bright lights will be harder to deal with. You want to keep the shutter speed at the same uh, rate as the recording. So other things, I'm going to bring a flashlight of course. GPS, I always like having a traditional GPS with me. I know the locations well but it's always good just in case because there are a lot of little areas that are kind of off the beaten path. In the off chance that I get lost, which is unlikely, but always possible. So that's about it. Hopefully everything turns out and I make a decent video for everyone to check out. Anyways, I'm Scott from Photography Bonsai. If you found this setup interesting, it's always a learning process, right? I put things together and try to make it happen. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So anyways, thanks again.